we're all sitting down for lunch now and they also have a couple of other dishes that Ying's mom and aunt made. I'm gonna start with the, the frog though. Hey everyone, it's Mark Weens with Migrationology.com. I'm in Nakhon Sawan in central Thailand. And today for lunch, Ying's aunt said that she's gonna cook up some frog. So stay tuned for some delicious frog. And also I wanna remind you, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you click subscribe for lots more food and travel videos. Okay, now I'm kinda of squatting in the banana field. Let's go see what she's cooking. She's getting ready to cook right over there. Right now, at first, she's just pounding up some chilies and garlic. Oh, yeah, there's a whole bag of green peppercorns here. Oh, these are one of my favorite things in the entire world. I love them so much that I need to take a bite of it right now. Chob pet cop. Kaplun cop. And then she's pounding it now with the. Aloy ma cop. Now she's pounding it up with the curry paste. Oh. These are some big meaty frogs. You can see those muscles on those hind legs. I think she's not gonna mince it fully, but just kind of chop it up into little bite-sized kind of pieces. That is some really meaty frog. Okay, and as she is finishing chopping the frog, I'm gonna snack on some green pepper. I love it. Oh, it's so spicy when it's fresh like this. And so much of a like pure pepper flavor. Oh, it's wonderful. Oh man, I could snack on this like popcorn. It's so good. Hmm. And this one is spicy, but sometimes they can be spicier. Like sometimes they can really, oh, okay. I can feel that burning down my throat now. lighting up that wok and first goes in a bunch of oil. Whoa, a bunch of oil. And then in goes all of that curry paste and chilies and garlic that she pounded up. Oh, that's like a, an oil bath that is gonna bring out some serious flavor. That curry paste and chilies is just kind of sizzling in that, in that oil for a little while and she is washing some of the green peppercorns. So the cup. This aroma of frying chilies and garlic and curry paste just never gets old. It's one of the greatest aromas on earth. Okay, cup. And now goes in the frog, <laughs> all of that frog. Put on my cup. Nagin. <laughs> And as that frog is cooking away, she's uh, taking the leaves off some bai pao, which is holy basil. Bai ga pao I'm gonna go ahead and stir up the frog. 
pole. This is gonna be oily and delicious. And she just said that if you add a lot of the holy basil, it will smell really good. It will have a really nice fragrance. Pictai. Pictai. And then in go all of those green peppercorns. And then the final step is to add in all of the basil. And you always wanna add the basil at the end and then immediately turn off the fire or not cook it very long because it will start to lose its flavor as it cooks longer. So you just wanna basically just throw it in at the end, let it use the heat from the pre-existing um, meat and oil and um, things inside of the dish and just let that, that holy basil wilt into the dish. Okay, come. That's a countryside style hot pad and it is ready. She said it's fully cooked and all that basil has just wilted, wilted down. We're all sitting down for lunch now and they also have a couple of other dishes that Ying's mom and aunt made. They're a selection of fried meats and fish. This is the dried fried catfish. This is another dried fried fish. Some mutad, which is fried pork. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with the, the frog though. It's definitely on the oily side, but it looks and smells so good. Oh, I gotta get some of that basil though too. Big chunk of basil there. All right, let me start with this. And I'm not sure, I think, I think the best way will just be to, to bite it, eat it, and then remove the bones. Oh yeah. Or maybe you can just bite right through the bones. Or maybe not. It is pretty oily, but that flavor is incredible. The red chilies, the what I really like are the green peppercorns in there, the garlic, the basil. It's just a harmony of wonderful flavors. And even as much chili as, in, as is in there, it's not extremely spicy, but it just has a really wonderful chili fragrance. Okay, I'm gonna start next with this fish. And any been pasalit, my coming? Basalit. Yeah, it is basalit, which is a uh, some type of a gurami and fried like a chip. Oh, like a like a serious chip. <laughs> yeah, it's like a salty fish jerky. You got to really chew that up to get through those bones, but it is really good. so good but frog is something you don't really want to eat when you're in a hurry because you have a lot of um, eating around little bones to do but every bit that you get tastes so good oh do I have some <laughs> I'm trying to look at that screen I think I might have some chili oil on my chin that got stuck on my chin but that was delicious food eating frog is kind of like eating crab um, it's one of those things that you want to leisurely eat and you have to take your time eating. You don't want to eat it quickly um, due to having to navigate your way around the, the little bones. Uh, but the flavor that comes out of it, crab, frog is just crap. Frog is just delicious. And oh, I love eating meals like that where you're just sitting here. And also uh, just a quick cultural tip. Oftentimes in the countryside in Thailand, 
they will cook up some dishes um, in the middle of the day and then you'll eat and then that food they'll save that food for later in the day maybe the next meal or whenever you get hungry next but I am stuffed and ready to relax that was a great lunch thank you very much to Ying and her family and her aunt especially for for cooking up that frog which was especially for me she said um, she wanted to cook it for me and my mouth is on fire that was wonderful and then right behind the house there are a bunch of fruit trees and I'm not sure of the name of the fruit in English but it's a little berry like fruit and let me see if I can find one. Oh, there's one there's one right over there in Thai this is called takop whoa it's so sweet mmm and the only reason I know what it tastes like already because I've been snacking on them before lunch. But it explodes very similar to a blueberry with all those little seeds. But then it has a taste almost like a really, really, really ripe, overripe mango. Really sweet and like pulpy. Micah wants to quickly say goodbye to all of you. Micah, say goodbye. Micah. He had a good lunch while I was eating as well, while I was eating that frog. Micah, I can't wait till you can eat some frog too. <laughs> oh, he opened his mouth. <laughs> oh, he drooled when I said frog. I'm gonna end this little lunch video in Nakhon Sawan right here. Thank you all very much for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And also make sure you click subscribe for lots more food and travel videos. Thank you again for watching. Hope you're having a great day and have a delicious lunch today. I will see you on the next video.